This is the second section of chapter six game theory, and this section is on reducing the payoff matrix. So now we know about payoff matrices, there may be some options or plays in a payoff matrix that would never be chosen. Another way of putting that is a strategy that player A or B would not choose. So here's an example of a uh, payoff matrix and each player has got three strategies, three different plays they could choose. And let's just start by looking at player A. Now, if I look at if A plays three, um, regardless of what B does, they could win five, two or two. Now, this is always greater than playing one. See, five is bigger than three, two is bigger than zero, two is bigger than one. So the A has no incentive, no incentive to play one over three. Three is always going to be a better option, regardless of what um, B does. In this case, we say that row three dominates row one because every element is greater than every element in that row. So row three dominates row one. Now since row three dominates row one, that means that player A has no reason to ever play one. So we can cross it out and reduce the matrix. Now when we cross this out, we cross it out by using what we call a dominance argument by saying which row dominates another. Now, what we're just talking about is from A's perspective, they're looking for elements or entries in a row and all of those entries are bigger than entries in another row. So row three doesn't dominate row two because even though the five entry is bigger and the two entry is bigger, this last two entry is not bigger than the four, so it doesn't dominate that one. But how about player B? How's it going to be from player B's perspective perspective so they're now looking at a column and what they're looking for in terms of dominance is a column where these values are lower each entry is smaller than in another column because they'd have no incentive to choose that column so for player A's perspective dominance means each entry is larger for player B's perspective, we're looking for a column where each entry is smaller. Now let's have a look. It looks like column two dominates column one because every entry is smaller. So from B's perspective, it's the other way around. So in terms of columns or player B in this case, column two dominates column one since every entry in column two is smaller than the corresponding entry in column one. So in this case, we could reduce the matrix by removing column one. So we need to remember that in terms of dominance on the rows, it's the ones which are larger in the columns uh, a column dominates if its values are smaller. Example six, A and B play a, a zero sum game represented by the payoff matrix below. Explain why the three times two game can be reduced to a two by two game. So what I'm looking for is one row that dominates another. Why rows? Because I need to be reduced to a two by two game. And that's only going to happen if I re, uh, cross out one of the rows. If I crossed out one of the columns, then it's going to be a three by one game. And that's not what it's asking for. So I know it's uh, going to be a, a row that I'm looking for. So I'm looking for one row that dominates another. And I can see that row one dominates row three since the seven is bigger than the four and the one is bigger than the zero. Now we need to put that in words. So row one dominates row three, and that's because seven is bigger than four, one is bigger than zero. So we can reduce the matrix by deleting row three. So if we were to do that, we'd cross that out 
and now it becomes a two by two game. But we must say which row dominates the other and we must show these inequalities to show that we're comparing the entries to show whether they're bigger or smaller. Example seven, A and B play a zero sum game represented by the payoff matrix below. Explain why the two by three game can re be reduced to a two by two game. So if it's gonna be reduced to a two by two game, that means we're going to be deleting a column, not a row, because if we were deleting a row, it'd be a one by three game. So we're looking for one column that dominates another. Now remember, when we're looking for dominance in columns, we're looking for entries in that column which are smaller or lower than entries in another column. Now I can see that negative two is less than one and one is less than six. So column three dominates column two. So column three, that's this column here, dominates column two since negative two is less than one and one is less than six. So all the corresponding values must be less when we're looking at trying to reduce columns. So the payoff matrix can be reduced to a two by two game by deleting column two. So you should now be able to do exercise 6B on pages 192 to 194 of the textbook.